and we all right welcome back to more ga general assembly companion keeping well i say keeping you up to date but you just had uh stimian lee who has just i mean that was an amazing that was yesterday evening's talk and it was edited a little bit because there were some bits and pieces that we couldn't show but it was awesome, wasn't it, Holly? Welcome, it Holly. Hi, thank you. It's good to be here. Good to see you, and uh, good for everyone to be able to hear you. Uh, you were at the session yesterday evening. I was at the session yesterday evening that blew me away. Yeah, it was awesome. It was. I mean, one, it was the stories that he told, mm -hmm. the way he is passionate, uh, just, you know. But it started having to put on a headset. As an English speaking participant. Absolutely. And that was good. That was really good. Yeah, yeah. We need you more of that, I think. It is interesting. And, and one of the major dynamics that was very interesting mm -hmm. about yesterday evening was we went Russian to English. So um, our Russian translator mm -hmm. was going Russian to English. So semi paraphrasing. Then everybody else was going English translation to their own language. Oh, they were. So it was para oh. paraphrasing. Wow. And the woman doing the translating to English was amazing. I mean, yeah. she was she was remarkable. Yeah. Shout out to Zenia for doing the most amazing, awesome job of translating. Well, and I think anybody who can speak in two entirely different languages versus not American English and British language, but, you know, There's a difference two entire, between, just slightly. I mean, we are two nations separated by a common language. We are. That's exactly true. <laughs> We, we have the same construction of sentences and we have all the same words available to us. We just choose to use them slightly yeah. differently. You have extra letters in your words and those we things. We do. Like we do. The aluminium versus aluminium one is always one that makes me laugh. The aluminium. Because they are two words that are spelled completely differently. Well, capillaries and capillaries. What about that one? It's spelled the same, isn't it? Mm, yeah. So is water and water. Or color and color. Yes, we have a U. But we, we, we've inherited a lot from the French. We love the French so much, we, we kept some of their words. Mm, I won't comment. <laughs> Better fine. not to. Better not to. All right, let's put us on task. Let's put us on track. Yes, we yes. are here because you are part of the mm. prayer team. I am. It's awesome. Yeah, it's amazing. So you part of the prayer team just for this week, or are you actually mm. part of the prayer team? Prayer team. Well, I pray every day. But I'm only part of the prayer team for GA. Oh, okay. <laughs> just to make sure it's clear, I still do pray when I'm not at GA. That's good. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just like, you know, the main qualification for being a Christian is, do you pray? Do you yes, pray? Yes, right, take you on. Um, so you've been at GA. What have, mm. you, what have you seen? What's really been kind of like the moment that you just went, wow. Last night was one of them. Yeah, yeah. Really, truly, because just wearing the headset, I've never had to do that. I've never, I've been translated or interpreted in conversations I have when we do training or those type of facili you know, to facilitations around the world, that happens. Yeah, yeah. But I've never had the headset on. And, and I just, it just, the whole headset of being able to think about this is what everyone else in the room or many in the room are doing every single session. So I think that was one important uh, barrier down, open <coughs> your eyes to what's really going on. It's, yeah, it's yeah. important to see what others are experiencing. Um, but I also think I've seen, I think I've just seen people, it's been beautiful to see people come together, no matter the language, no matter the language barrier, no matter the country. Um, I've seen it before at GA, but for something seems different, I hear. I think yeah, it's yeah. because we've been apart so long, right? Oh, six years in the making yeah, for this particular yeah. general so assembly. Everybody's so happy to be together. But I think last night, um, there's one, well, there are many comments the gentleman made last night, but the comment he made about Jesus speaking in the lessons but quiet during exams yeah yeah and you just go oh wait hang a second oh that's why i'm not hearing right now this is an exam uh, yeah, i yeah. hope i'm passing yeah. i'm trying to pass the exam i've been supported it's like i've been carrying you all the way through to make sure you get to this point yeah it's on you yeah now. yeah so Very it's been it's been pretty cool but there's been lots of moments like that oh, across yeah i mean way. i've been bumping into people having conversations and one of the real interesting things for me, and I said this earlier on, was some people, like I've had people coming up mm -hmm. to me saying, good to see you again. And we've never met in person. We've only been on Zoom together. Mm -hmm. But because we've been Zooming for so long, we kind of, we think we know each other. We think we've met each other. Mm -hmm. And then you're going, actually, no, we've, we've genuinely never met. And 
you're taller than I thought you would be. And you smell slightly different to what I thought you would smell like as well. <laughs> well, and I love this morning. So I said to a woman yesterday when I saw her, I know I know you from somewhere. We thought it was Kenya YFC. And this morning she said, so-and-so, do you remember her in Fresno, California? We met in 1990-something. And it was just, wow, you're right. It was, yes, I forgot about Connie. Yes, that's exactly right. So it's, it's like reunions. It's like heaven will be. It's just like heaven will be like. It's like coming together. And, and the whole hotel is just YFCers. So you just feel, you just feel the Holy Spirit in every room. It's a strange community. Yeah. yeah. Multicultural, where everybody's just... You know, you can genuinely leave a laptop in mm -hmm. any random place and come back the following day and it's still there. Yeah, yeah. Without even, you know, I mean, I don't recommend it. <laughs> I mean, I, it's not that I don't, you know, but we, we trust everybody, but at the same time. But conceptually, you can do that. Uh, conceptually, you can yeah. do that. Well, and I, I have to say also that it feels like um, I was in business for 30 years. I've always just been a volunteer with YFC, okay. but in business for 30 years and was a Rotarian. And they would say, you can go anywhere in the world and meet a Rotarian. And I said, no, no, it's even better. You can go anywhere in the world and meet a YFCer. You and genuinely can. And that's sweet. Yeah. And that's sweet. Well, I think I've been even in uh, like customs where I've been pulled over to one side when I've been traveling in the country and then somebody just goes... What are you doing here? And you're like, ah, and then they see something, YFC. And you're like, ah, oh, is this a good idea? Is it not a good idea? And they go, oh, no, my mother, she's like, she prays for teenagers. And Aww. you're just like, oh, this is going to go really well. And then the guy goes, yeah. anyway, I need to check your bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you're here to pray. Love to pray. We'd love so, to pray. So, so, so. I'm going so so back. We, whoa, um, I don't know. Too, okay, back, we're too backing much, up. Too okay. much coffee. Um, when you came, when mm -hmm. you were asked to prepare, is there anything that you prepared? Because I don't want to go straight into prayer. Mm -hmm. If you actually prepared something, do you want it to say? Well, I think that my thought process was really around last night's comment because yeah, yeah. every day has been so different, and there have been aha moments every day for me. I've been taking notes like crazy, um, and I think. I think also for me, one of the things that um, Lyndall had said to us as we prepare for this is think about, you know, tell them what, what your role is in YFC. And um, I sometimes struggle with that when saying, well, I'm, you know, I'm, well, I did this and I was that. And, and then I gave thought and I realized when I had to put it together that for most of the last 45 years. That's what it is. YFC has been a part of my life <laughs> as a volunteer. Yeah, yeah. And as I think about that, there was a gap of probably five or six years in there somewhere. But as I think about that, I think, what God orchestrated, mm. um, I would say in 1975. Okay. I remember 1975. So that my, you, you do. That's a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> you can do Jesus before that then, I guess. So. <laughs> but as I think about what God orchestrated to bring together my parents yeah, and... Um, the executive director of what was then Greater Long Beach Youth for Christ in Southern California. Okay. And that led to my beginning to volunteer. Went to, went to banquets, right? Fundraising banquets with them. But then in 1978, beginning to volunteer, I think it was. And just, I, th I think, wow, that went so fast. I mean, it didn't and it did. Yeah, yeah. But what a sweet place to be. What, Absolutely. What a cool place to say, for 45 years I've been a part of this, you know, and it's, what a blessing, just yeah, yeah. a complete, utter blessing. And people here, you just smile and say hello, and it's just, it's family. It's yeah. complete family. Totally agree. Yeah. No more, I was going to say, then this uh, perfect opportunity to go straight into prayer. Mm. Let's do it. Let's do. Please pray. Oh, Father, we thank you for the privilege of being here. We thank you for the privilege, first of all, for being um, your sons and daughters. That you adopted us, that you grafted us in, that you let us um, just hang out with you on a daily basis, on a moment-by-moment -moment basis, that you fill us with your Holy Spirit, that we can activate all that you've given us in any given moment because you love us so much. So, Father, as I've prayed um, all week, I pray first for those who were hoping to be here but couldn't. Father, we know that you are in control and you know and do what is best for us. 
even when we don't understand it or feel it or even like it. <laughs> so, Father, right now I, I pray um, that they have been filled with this programming, that they've been filled with um, more GA, that they've been able to see when they could sneak in the time um, and when these amazing people in this room have put together live streams and ran a, a presentation from another day. Lord, thank you that they've been able to be a part of that. And right now I ask you, Lord, that you would continue to move throughout the world in Youth for Christ, that you would break down barriers, that you would open up doors, that you would help those that are in countries um, where they're wearing orange lanyards here, Lord, that you would help them to be protected in this process of proclaiming your name, and at the same time, Father, that they would just be able to win countries of kids for you. Lord, I thank you that um, we can be on air and have this conversation, that we're living in a place where we can do that. And right now, Lord, I just pray that as you shepherd us, we listen carefully to your voice. You provide all we need, Father. You protect us fully as you see fit, and you are present with us in a remarkable way. So right now, Father, I pray that everyone across the airwaves involved in Youth for Christ are able to tune in to um, the station where the Holy Spirit is talking and working in their lives, that they can hear and see and move and feel in a way, Lord, that um, knowing that you are with them each step of the way. And Lord, I want to pray a blessing over them. Um, if I just turn to Hebrews 13 here very quickly. Now may the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip everyone listening in within USYFC with everything good that they need to do your will, Father, working in all of us that which is pleasing in your sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. We are grateful, Lord, for you. We are grateful that... Um, you love us as much as you do. And that right now, Father, I pray that the multiplication of this message happens in such a way that we are, in three years from now, celebrating an even greater movement that you're doing in and through this, these men and women. Father, we ask these things in your precious, holy, sovereign name. Our Alpha and our Omega, our beginning and the end, our sovereign, almighty God. Amen. Amen. Holly, thank you so very much. Mm. Thank That's you for allowing me to pray. Thank you for coming on and closing mm. this section in prayer. It's been an absolute pleasure having you. Thank you. It was a privilege to be here.